rough because the coronavirus, so everybody lost job. Families across Colorado have been dealing with the financial turmoil brought by this pandemic. But for many undocumented families, it's been a lot more difficult trying to make ends meet. And some depending on nonprofits for survival. Most of our clients do not receive any of the stimulus support. Um, they don't have access to a lot of the public assistance that a lot of us do. Hannah Martin is the director of a Accompaniment and Sanctuary Coalition in Colorado Springs, which aims to help immigrant families. With the specific grants and things we've done, we've been able to keep 66 families housed. Um, and that was multiple months of rent payments, um, utilities, uh, making sure they had food and groceries. This bill for housing benefits, though, is giving nonprofits like these a sense of joy. I think it is a very humane um, bill. It's a bill that can help this undocumented family in Colorado Springs who wishes to remain anonymous. It mean a lot because we've been going through a lot of struggles. We can't pay the rent. This family's rent is about $1,000. Their household consists of three adults and six children, with only one working adult bringing in about $300 to $400. It's barely enough. Juli Sosoto with Servicios de la Raza, another nonprofit helping immigrant families during this pandemic, says this bill can help keep a lot of families off the streets. We will have a lot less families in need of houses in security, in need of food of security. According to the American Immigration Council, in 2018, 10% of the population were immigrants. And in Colorado Springs, that number stood above 7%. We're told Governor Polis is expected to sign this bill soon. Now, under this bill, Colorado is living in the U.S. without authorization would qualify for emergency pandemic assistance and state housing assistance moving forward. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Jasmine Arenas for KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Jasmine, thank you.